Oh, is it this? Oh, yeah, I love this level. This is actually really fun. Melody Town. I kind of like that about this game. Like, it's a bit like a 3D, 3D world in the sense that it's like it doesn't really like do with world with its worlds. It doesn't just exclusively do levels out like just sweets everywhere. Like you have that uh, one with like the toys and stuff. You had your treat level obviously, but then you had your like little forest level, and now you have your music based level, which I do kind of like. Like. It's a little, it may be a bit weird for some, like, oh, why is it not doing any treats level, treat levels anymore? Like, why is it, why are we doing a music level when this isn't a music-based world? But I, I kind of like that. It gives, um, gives the game a sense of, um, like, su surprise um, when you, every time you go to a new level, cause, or activate a new level or whatever. You can mostly get like an, a general idea from just the names alone, but um, but yeah, I just kind of like that. Like it just gives you a sense of a the uh, gives you the sense of surprise. And if it was just like just desert level, uh, and I mean I'd be totally fine with just tree levels per se, but. I definitely prefer them just being more, like, flexible with level themes. And there's something that New Super Mario Bros. really should, uh, like, take notes from, because aside from a couple levels in Mario U, where they kind of went a little bit, they kind of, like, changed things up. Um, it's mainly just been like desert level. Every level is a desert level. It's like I I get that that's the world theme, but they don't really expand upon it. It's basically just okay. Here's the desert level. Okay, here's the ice level. Here's the uh, the spooky the uh, ghost themed world, and it doesn't really go too far beyond that most of the time. Like, there are some exceptions, but, yeah, that's just been my main issue with that series. I'm fine with it gameplay-wise, I'm fine with the star coins and all that, but world themes definitely need to be, like, changed around. I, I don't know, they something has to be changed, because it's been way too samey for way too long now, and, yeah, it just, things need to be changed up. Not too much the case for the 3D ser like 3D games like 3D land as much as I like as much as I don't really well, I, I like the game but nowhere near as much as the other 3D Mario's but even with that at least it is a little bit more flexible not a lot but it's a little bit more flexible with its world themes uh, 3D world actually did a pretty dang good job with the worlds uh, the level themes in that game, and, um, you know, his hoping a Mario Odyssey is a, is a big hit, because I haven't, I haven't been more excited for a Mario game for, since Galaxy 2, and that was back in 2010, so, you know, I mean, I'm a lot more chill when it comes to, uh, game launches and just being excited for games now because you know back then I used to be like oh I can't wait for this game to come out and I'll just do nothing all day except like just looking for just new release trailers and stuff because that was a big thing like the main two main games I know of that I went crazy over wanting to come out would be Galaxy 2 and Sonic Unleashed and even though I had a Wii, I was still pumped as hell for that game, and I played the I played the living hell out of it. And when I played Unleashed HD, I literally thought it was like the best game ever for a time. Um, I still have I still hold Unleashed in very high regard, but um, I'm not as like oh my gosh, this is the best thing ever as much as I was before. But yeah, 
Mario Odyssey, though, is like... They basically read my mind and what I wanted for a 3D Mario. Like, it's not, like, point for point my vision, if you will. Like, my general idea was, um, like, how... Have like a pretty sizable hub world in the Mushroom Kingdom or something, and like have stuff to do where you get like I don't know, get do like different kind of tasks like in Del like Delfino Plaza, and it will give you like I don't know stars or green stars or whatever the rewards would be, and it seems like they're having like a pretty sizable hub world with the um with the uh, like sea. New Dong C. Um, I don't know. It seems like a hub world. I don't, it doesn't sit really seem like an actual level because it doesn't seem to be enemies. At least at daytime. Like maybe there will be like bosses at night because from the trailer showing that big, like wherever that thing was. <laughs> but yeah, I mean. I didn't expect it to be a real world city kind of thing, but I kind of wanted like a pretty sizable main hub. You go to like, and then, well, it, again, it's not exactly my vision. Uh, basically, what I f uh, pictured for a op more open world Mar Mario game would be you go around Mushroom Kingdom, you find like these cannons, and they take you to the main game's levels and stuff. Um, and it's it's kind of kind of a similar idea with like the uh, little Mario ship thing that kind of reminds me of Starship Mario, and you kind of just go around the world, hence Odyssey. And I mean, I didn't mean to ex exit the world. My bad. Um, I mean, again, it's not exactly what I thought it would be. Like again, like th I'm still trying to get used to that, the fact that there's gonna be like re realistic humans and all that but I'm definitely looking forward to it because it's a kind of game for I've wanted from the Mario series for a while now and it's just great to see like the more open open world kind of style coming back ah okay this one this boss so you have a roulette wheel, and you kind of just, I guess, get lucky. I don't, I don't know. I, I'm not too. I don't remember exactly how this works. Okay. Uh, okay. So I'm assuming that it just de determines like what attack the guy's gonna do. Oh, I get it now. Okay. So you have to pay attention to him and, like, just make sure you get the right. or uh, whip out the right guy. For this. Well, for that one at least. And this one, you do that. Okay. Alright. That's actually. This is actually a pretty cool boss. Ole. Red bomb. Yep. Die. All right. Whip. Oh, okay. Oh, what? Oh! <laughs> Just mash the buttons. Oh! Okay. La 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 la. You can do this all day. Alright, that's it. Alright, go to the other side, quickly! Alright. Now I can just wreck this guy. Yeah, I was gonna say, because I... I didn't get any bees from just getting him knocked on his feet last time, so... 
Alright, so it has to be the bottom one. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, no! Oh, come on. How are you supposed to know that? Is it the top one? I, I, I guess. That's what I'm gonna assume. Could be wrong. Alright. Just drop your cards. No. You die. Well, not yet, but you go, you're going to. Whip again, okay. How do I use this against him? Um... Is this just a chill one? You just get tons of beads? Cause he just runs off the screen, you can't really do anything about it. Yole again. Doo -doo. Ow. Jeez. Alright. There you go. Woo. Shredded. Look at that pumpkin face, just like, yeah. Nice. We did it. We got a piece of the magic yarn. The magic yarn shimmered and spiraled and swirled high into the sky. Ooh, that looks like a water level. The yarn weaved its way into the fabric of the kingdom and stitched two pieces of patchland together. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember this. Came upon a cake the size of a mountain. It was breathtaking. Kirby tried to contain himself, but failed. Boyo! He dived right in and started gobbling up the cake. I declare a cake-eating duel, and with that, Prince Fluff jumped into the cake as well. The two ate and ate and ate, but they didn't balance their eating very well. Oh no! And before they could get down, the cake collapsed. I like how he says it. Oh, I can't eat another bite. Prince Fluff groaned as he rubbed his cake-filled belly. But then... Kirby appeared with a huge cherry in his mouth. <laughs> mm -hmm. Kirby won the contest, and a looming tummy ache as well. Ah, <sighs> uh, well... If we go by the anime, it just... The food just kind of goes to a... Like some kind of space dimension or something. I mean, I guess it's because he's in a different world and things work differently, but eh, I don't know. Ice cream! Alright. Coca Station. <laughs> oh, are you serious? Is this the whole level? <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't really remember this level at all. And I think this is probably why. Please don't be the entire level. That would suck. It probably is. But. Uh... 
bash it. Okay. I'm gonna need to get the thing. There's no way I can reach that. And now you charge for victory! No! Don't. No. Okay, this is actually pretty cool. This little set piece, I guess. Wait, what? Ah, uh, okay, I was gonna say, do I have to do anything with that? Oh, no, no, it's gonna crush you! Or not! Grab the thing. It, ah! Well, I could've just gone back. It's, I guess. Switch Puzzles 101. I think it's limited to how much trick you can make. Yeah. That doesn't really help. It should be infinite, to be honest. Because... Bruh. Bruh. You could have... You totally could should have been able to go on that one. And I've lost all my buddies. Cubby! Okay. Now grab those buddies back. say about this level. It's not the kind of slow pace that I'm going to be particularly fond of. And we don't even have that many beads. Oh my gosh. Yeah! Angry face! Oh. Ready? How do I get that? Is there like a switch in there? No! Ay ay ay. See why I don't really like this? Yeah, there it is. Can you just. Yep, that works. Okay, this is gonna be awkward. Okay, that's good enough. And... I still need to get that. we drop down. I'm probably gonna have to rely on that. Come back for you, maybe. I want the star. Yes. Oh, you know I can live without the uh, other dudes. Do I have everything? 
Alright, I still need the CD. I better be around her. Woo! No. Get us right there. Oh, <laughs> jeez. No! Why? Why is this so awkward? Alright, let's try through. Okay, cool. Oh, that wasn't really too fun. No, I don't think I'm gonna get that. Yeah, that was bad. Oh well. <laughs> ah, this one. Okay. This I remember this one being a little bit strict with the uh, amount of uh, what was it the amount of like beads you need That's a start. So I think I remember loot missing a collectible somewhere here. I feel like there's something up there. Yep. Um. How am I supposed to get up there? There had to have been something up there, but I don't know how you how you be able to get there though. Oh well, maybe it just made those beads appear to the side. That's what I'm gonna hope. I was gonna say, if that was the end, how the hell are you to expect anyone to get a gold? I 
shouldn't shouldn't have done that. <laughs> yeah, that was bad. Do you respawn? No. Come on. I need a guy to use. I've I've messed up royally. Oh man. I just like how it makes that squeaky sound. Yeah. Alright, don't waste this this time. Okay, what's the... Alright, it was just beads, but still. Doesn't really help that you don't really have a lot of space to work with. Well, I think the main issue is that since it's dark, you don't exactly know. It's very easy to just miss things when it's like this. Right, is it gonna? Yep. Why didn't I do it before? Like, I guess I wasn't. I just wasn't far enough for it to respawn properly, but... Mm. Alright. Now we should be in the clear. We just need to find the CD. Yep. That's usually the last thing. Alright. Oh, this is just like the guys in normal Kirby games where it's just a flame wheel that just goes around a platform. Good old, good old, normal, original Kirby's. I do like you turn into a, I do like the fact that you turn into a submarine because it makes it a lot easier to, uh, a lot faster, I guess you could say, to get through. Not sure if I need this, but just in case. Uh. Okay. <laughs> this can't be the end, right? No, okay, there ha it has to be here somewhere. Mm. Not this. Although that lights the place up. I think the light's getting dimmer. Like, I guess it's getting weaker and weaker. Hmm. I guess I'm just gonna have to use the torches. Or, not, well, lanterns, I guess, would be a bit the more accurate description. Light that shines lets me see my objective. I don't know. Oh, we are good, right? Yeah, we can just end it. I don't really care what I if I get anything. Nice. Alright, now to do some mini games. I don't know if that even does anything, like going back to a f your flat when someone else is visiting. I don't really think that means anything. I could be wrong. Alright. Hey! <laughs> yeah, just a chair. Or a throne, rather. 
It's like, yeah, best room ever. Can I talk to you guys? Okay, yeah, it's pretty much pointless. <laughs> I don't see why you'd ever want to do that. Alright. I see what you guys have for me this time. <laughs> 